This week, the Branson fam is taking you to Silver Dollar City's Harvest Festival. We are beyond excited to share our favorite parts of this festival, including the evening events, and of course, who could leave out all those yummy food options. It's all coming at you, but first, let's roll that intro. Welcome to the Silver Dollar City 2023 Harvest Festival. This festival is full of family fun and fall memories waiting to be made. Pumpkins line nearly every part of the city, including being greeted by large themed pumpkin arrangements as you enter the city square. You certainly don't want to miss this new orange twist to the canopy sky on Valley Road that stretches all the way down to the Wilson's farm. All of this is beautiful in itself during the daylight, but just wait until you see this place at night. We will be showing you the nighttime transformation of the park in just a bit. But first, let's take you through some of the best daytime features during this festival. One of the most interesting parts of this festival is being able to get to know the visiting craftsmen and shop their creative works of art. You will be able to find crafters in their booths all around the city square. These craftspeople come from all over the country to be part of this exciting festival. As you make your way around the park, you will also find many great crafters inside the Frisco Barn at the area known as the Maker's Market. Here are a few of our favorite crafters. You'll want to be sure to stop by the Pulos Apiary booth to try some of their delicious honey flavors. Their flavor offerings are some of the most unique and the best that you will find anywhere around. At Ivy Barn Designs from Elk Falls, Kansas, you will find inspirational jewelry and much more. At their booth, you can also customize your own necklace with heartening pendants and decorative beads or charms to match personal style and fashion. Definitely stop by the TK Furs and More booth to check out his unique fur products along with his entertaining taxidermy. We also really love the booth here at the Maker's Market with Highland Home Custom Creations with their unique aromas of their custom candles, wax melts, and gifts. These fellas are sure to help you pick out the perfect scents just for you. And of course, there are many other crafters here that are definitely worth a visit to the Frisco Barn during your next fall trip to SDC. Right outside of the Frisco Barn, on your way toward the Red Gold Heritage Hall, you'll find the best master pumpkin carver in the Ozarks, Mr. Barry Brown. He presents pumpkin carving demonstrations throughout the day, and you can even have Barry carve a custom pumpkin just for you. His intricate designs are unlike any that you've ever seen before. And since we're talking about pumpkins, you will not want to miss the Garden of Giants, where you can find some of the largest pumpkins that you could ever see in person. For example, the pumpkin known as Alexander the Greatest comes in tipping the scales at 1,604 pounds, and Duncan the Pumpkin sits in at 1,586 pounds. After shopping so many amazing crafters and seeing those larger-than-life pumpkins, there's a good chance that you might be getting hungry at some point. Fall flavors in the city are definitely delicious and plentiful. A fantastic way to experience many of these options is to purchase a Harvest Festival tasting passport. You'll be able to see all of the tasting passport options online at silverdollarcity.com. However, here are a few of our favorite options. From Rivertown Smokehouse, you'll find some of the best choices on the passport. If you've watched our channel at all, you know that I'm going to go after that mac and cheese if it's on the menu of options. I've tried several mac and cheese concoctions here, and I can tell you that this combination with the sausage on top is probably my favorite. This is one option that I highly recommend on the tasting passport. If you are a fan of bread pudding, then you will not want to pass up on the pumpkin bread pudding here at Rivertown Smokehouse. It would be a yummy ending to any meal here for dessert, or stop by to grab one as a snack to stop in and enjoy. There sure is some great cooking going on around the city. If you make it around cowboy camp at the right time, you might be able to sample a few local foodies who are fixing up some of their good old chuck wagon cooked food. This cook off is judged by guests and emceed by none other than the legendary Gunsmoke star, Buck Taylor. If you would like a more extensive time to meet Mr. Buck Taylor, head on over to the Cowboy Emporium in the Carousel Barn. This is an area where many talented artisans and craftspeople gather to sell their items as they are celebrating the spirit of the West. Buck Taylor and his Cowboy Emporium friends plan to be at the Harvest Fest throughout the festival. Be sure to check the hours of operation for the Carousel Barn so that you don't miss seeing some fantastic artisans. 
Of course, a large draw to SDC at any time of year is the park's wide variety of thrilling rides. Don't forget that you can ride throughout the day and time is winding down to ride the original Fire in the Hole. So don't miss out before it's gone for good at the end of this 2023 season. As the day turns to night, you can also ride some of your favorite coasters into the nighttime. During the Fall Harvest Fest, the park stays open later so that families can enjoy the evening festivities. Pumpkins in the City is the glowing nighttime event that gets bigger and better every single year. There are thousands of illuminated pumpkins that line the city streets. If you take a close look, you will see themes of pumpkin carvings throughout the park. You might even see some new, fun pumpkin characters that you haven't noticed before. Starting at 5.30 p.m., guests are invited to visit the Pumpkin Plaza. On your way there, we highly recommend walking through Foggy Hollow, which makes you feel like you're stepping into a frightless evening dream. This is a truly cool way to enter the party at Pumpkin Plaza. If you want to avoid the smokiness of Foggy Hollow, there's also an entrance to the plaza if you go through the Grand Exposition. Either way, it will lead you to the music and the ongoing dance party. Welcome to Pumpkin Plaza. Not only can you dance the night away to family-friendly favorite music, but you will also find some of the park's coolest and most upbeat characters. Who knows, you might even run into some of your best friends here, just like we always do. Pumpkin Plaza has some really neat fall-themed food and drink options because we know that you're gonna be needing a snack with all of that dancing and exploring going on. If you do get thirsty, we highly recommend trying the Autumn Apple Palmer. This is an option on the Harvest Fest Tasting Passport. It is a delicious apple flavored mixture and I will definitely be going back for another one during our next Fall Harvest Fest visit. At Pumpkin Plaza, don't forget to stop in to meet Peter and Penelope Pumpkin along with their smiling friends and take in that perfect photo op moment with them. They love meeting new friends and creating family memories. The Pumpkin Emporium and other fun booths on the plaza help you stay glowing and shining bright throughout the night. Our kids especially love their light up pumpkin bubble wands, which were about $15 each. And this might seem like a lot to some, but our original ones lasted us three years. So we consider it a fun investment that keeps them happy during park visits time and time again. We can definitely recommend these bubble wands if you have little ones. Even older cousin Colton couldn't deny partaking in the bubble wand fun. After the sun goes down, we highly suggest walking around the Grand Exposition area to see some of the neatest glowing pumpkin creations. Though this area is known for its fun, family-friendly rides and attractions, during Pumpkins in the City, it's known to be the home of these pumpkin-y famous characters. See if you can see some of your favorites here. When it is time to exit the park, we highly suggest walking through Valley Road so that you can see the canopy sky glowing brightly above. The pumpkin tree at the top of the city square is also a sight that you won't want to miss as you exit the park. Silver Dollar City's 2023 Harvest Festival runs from September 15th through October 28th. We do suggest that you check their operating schedule as there are some days throughout the week that the park is closed. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to see more family fun for you to see and do in Branson, please hit that subscribe button down below. We would also really appreciate if you guys would give us that thumbs up, that like down below our video. This helps the channel in so many ways. And we will be coming back at you soon with more family fun. But until our next adventure, fam, we'll catch y'all later.